Universal Young's. And Great this eye. one takes place or is from Germany. I'm very excited for this. Uh, Same. We're going to just jump right in. I yeah. reckon. Because uh, why, why not? <coughs> why it's not indeed? Nice, it's got a nice cool book. Uh, 20 snacks, I think. Trivia is at the end, yeah, as always. Trivia is at the end, yep. So let's get into it. I'm so excited for this one. When we were setting out all of these snacks, it looks delicious. Delicious. They do, and I'm super pumped. And let's take a book and go with our first snickety snack and find there's lots of little, little trivia in here. Okay. Curly? Lorenz okay. Curly Peanut Puffs. That's those, yes. It's with freshly ground peanuts, but it looks so like cashews. It's peanut flavored corn puffs. Ooh. Maybe it's good. It does not look like cashews when you open it up. Well, not at all. Kind of. Well, sort of. Oh. Mm. I am not personally over fond of the peanut taste. I don't know. I'm outside of peanut butter. Um, it tastes like it's saturated in peanut oil, mm -hmm. but delightfully so. I'm going to give that one an 8. So it's savory. Mm. A little bit of salt at the end. Yeah. Um, let's do... Uh, so you say 8? I say 8. Um, I, I, I can't go that high for me. You don't like I'm peanuts. Gonna, I'm going to say 6. 6 for me. Okay. Mm, that's very good. Choco Monk Poppy Seed Bar is next. Poppy Seed. Which is white chocolate and poppy seeds. Uh, poppy seeds are sort of most commonly known here in the U.S. as being a part of those muffins, those lemony... Yeah, the poppy seed muffins. Lemony poppy seed muffins. They're very good. Um, I've always thought they had a strange texture, especially like in a muffin. Uh, not a bad one, but strange. Ooh. There's a lot of poppy seeds in this. Yes. Holy crap. Look at that. Maybe. Can you break that for me? I will try. Hang on. I don't want to get any on the computer. Show that you have longer arms than I do. Look how much poppy seed is in there. It's like gray. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Ready? So I am. Mm. Mm, okay. I like the little crunchy. Mm -hmm. The poppy seeds kind of make it, you know how a crunch bar is? It almost is that texture. So I didn't think that the poppy seeds and the poppy seed muffins lent a lot to its flavor. But having this, it does. Mm -hmm. um, That's a very bizarre flavor. It's, you can't yeah. pinpoint it. Now, I will say be careful when you eat poppy seeds to not eat a very large quantity. <laughs> as it registers as an opioid on drug tests. You have to eat an insane amount for it. Though. You have to eat an insane amount for it to or happen. You have to but... guzzle poppy seeds. Okay, that's a solid eight for me. Same. I don't want to give it higher than that because we still have a lot more. Yeah. And I don't, I like the grittiness <clears throat> as I'm eating it, but afterwards it gets stuck in my teeth and it gets annoying. So we're doing an eight because it has a very good flavor. Zitrone Waffle In. Waff, waffle, waffle In. Wafers with Lemon Cream. That's these. A big old pack of it. I hope it doesn't taste like cleaning supplies. 
You and the artificial lemon flavor do not typically mesh well. Mm-mm. Uh, but we shall see. <laughs> it's supposed to be very easy to open. Does it have a feely thing? Yep, I just gotta get it out. Okay. And I have no fingernails right now. I don't, can't say that I do either, really. One moment. Technical difficulties. Cut it with scissors. I'm trying to. <laughs> there it comes. Yeah. Okay. Are you? I'm fine. Oh no. Wafers. Uh -oh. Wafers. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just let it happen. We'll clean it up later. <laughs> this one's messy. Okay, we're just gonna do one. Okay. okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Shoot. I just, well, that worked you, out real well. Yeah, you just you can't you can't avoid. Wafers always flake away. Mmm, smells like Clorox. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. Hold your hand underneath of it, please. Oh yes. Ready? You're good. Mmm. so good. That's a nine for me. Oh yeah. Too sour for you? Too tart? <laughs> you don't like tart stuff. <laughs> uh, can I take one small bite? Yep. Of course you can. It's like lemon meringue pie. Mm-mm. Mm. Mine is the cream and pie crust. It's like just the lemon part. <laughs> That's a four. Okay, oh. so here's the thing. If it wasn't it. as tart, for me it would be delightful. Mm. Because it does have a very good texture. It has a very good aftertaste. It does not taste like cleaning supplies, except it smells like it. Yes. It's just super dark for me. <laughs> well, we're getting into uh, some more savory stuff next. Yay! Which is XOX Zweibels. Um, that is to say, onion flavored corn rings. Mm. Which in the US we call Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see how they compare. We'll see if one is. Oh, those smell <clears throat> wonderful. They smell like fresh onions. Oh. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna give you a couple. Oh, okay. Okay. Because they're kind of stuck together. Small. So they're a little yeah. small. They are. They're tiny. Um, which is fine. Boop. Boop. Whatever. These straight up taste like onions. <laughs> yeah. They have a little bit more authentic onion taste to it. On the aftertaste. Yes. So, ooh, I'll just do more if you don't mind. Okay. Is that enough? You want yep. To? Okay. Good. Okay. These are better than Funyuns. These are better than Funyuns. Um, it met, mm. it exceeded my expectations, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, because it has a stronger onion taste. Mm -hmm. Which is saying a lot, considering onions. Mm -hmm. um, definitely something you don't want to eat when you're about to go and meet with people. It tastes like it has garlic in it too. Like I feel like I could scare off a vampire right now. Mm-hmm. And any that is what makes it so good. Yeah, it's like garlicky onion is mm -hmm. freaking. It's real very good. good. What, mm. are you, what are your thoughts? Seven. Really? Mm-hmm. I could see that. You can see that. I'll go seven two. Why'd you go seven two? Uh, cause I agree. It's very good. I would definitely eat them again. Yes. But it, but it's very strong. You can only eat a couple bites of it unless you want to no. make yourself sick. Right. It's it's super strong. Exactly. Exactly. Hazelnut sunrise. Oh, that's these. Yeah. These little. Milk chocolate 
with puffed rice, cereal, hazelnuts, and cocoa cream. I can already tell you this is probably going to be a nine or a 10, uh, just based on its description. Oh, so Deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Is she okay? Yeah, she's just being feisty, oh. as poopies do. <clears throat> <laughs> what are those little tiny things called? Those little... Ferrero Rocher. It doesn't have the... I was thinking the exact same thing. It doesn't have the coating on the outside, but that's what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. Wow. Hmm, my dear. Is that a 10? <laughs> yes. Okay. For me. I agree. I agree because it is amazing. The aftertaste uh, is wonderful. The aftertaste is wonderful. The first taste is wonderful. It's like The texture is amazing. Honestly, uh, and this is, I guess, by its very design, uh, but it tastes, it's like crunchy Nutella. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it's so good. <clears throat> Delightful. Mixed with a Rice Krispie Treat. Mm -hmm. No marshmallow flavor, though. But it's... This next thing, I don't know if you'll like. It's called Conditor Marzipan. Stalin. Or stolen. The English word is stolen, but it's probably not how it's pronounced. Is that this thing? It is. Yep. Yeah, it is fruitcake with raisins and marzipan. Yeah, I, I can totally see you not liking it at all. Okay, let's try it. Let's do it. I thought it looked moldy, but it was just a raisin. <laughs> That's how much I despise raisins. To be fair, if I didn't know that this was fresh, it looks a little moldy. It looks... A, check it out. When you first open the package and you see this, what are you going to think? Yeah, it, it, it does look like a moldy piece of bread. You want to do the first bite? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. It has reminiscent flavors to me of eggnog, of all things. Like little hints, hints of it, and then of course you get like raisin flavor thrown in there. It could be the marzipan. I don't really know what marzipan tastes like. Um, it's pretty good though. Uh, I'm, I was, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised at how good it tastes. Oh yes, please. Despite the raisins, it's not that bad. If I could pick off the raisins, mm -hmm. it would be delightful for me. Um, well, I'm gonna go with a five because I can take it or leave it. Five? No, mm -hmm. I got two. I'm gonna go higher. I'm gonna give it a seven because it has a good taste. It's covered in some kind of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. I yes. like the texture, except and, for the raisins. Right. And, it has a good taste. It has a great texture. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like too crunchy or too soft. Mm -mm. Uh, it's very, very good. It's very well made. As a uh, fruit cake, I would, I would not have considered that a fruit cake, considering that we here in the U.S. like fruit cake as we know it is this sort of horrific grossness. Uh, grossness that people like buy and give like it, it's a re-gift item in some family traditions where they just give the same fruit cake back and forth mm -hmm. it's been in the family for years yeah because it doesn't it doesn't seem to go bad at least visually so <laughs> gross <clears throat> all right well that was interesting
But the aftertaste mm-hmm. isn't bad. It isn't. The next thing that we have is called Schenken and Casa Nuffles. Nuffles? Which is ham and cheese corn snack. Um, I'm excited for it. So far, nothing that we've had is been terrible. Mm-mm. Except for the lemon thing. Well, it wasn't horrible. Yeah. It smells like one of Tootsie's treats. Does it really? Okay, I can it see that. It smells like a dog treat. I'll have to get a better smell when I actually have one in. in oh, am I getting a couple? Mm-hmm. So bizarre. I kind of don't want to try this. It smells. It smells. It smells like something. Your um, sausages. Hmm. It smells like your sausages. Hmm. That you have for breakfast. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, it tastes nothing like ham and cheese. Well, that depends on what kind of cheese we're talking about. Oh, gross. What? What kind of cheese? I don't think like Gouda. Oh. It has kind of a Gouda-ish flavor mixed with... I don't like, like a, these. Like a salami. I think it's good. I'm going to give that another seven. I'm gonna give that a four. Four for you. Four okay. three even. I don't we'll care. Do, Something down. Yeah, we'll do four. You're gonna love this next thing, Neri. Himbeer cream chocolate, which is dark chocolate with raspberry cream. Ooh. This is it, right? <clears throat> yes. Is that, this dark chocolate? Is that what you said? It is dark chocolate. Ooh. Okay. We all smell that. Oh yeah, buddy. I'm very pumped. Mm. Before even getting chocolate taste, you get the raspberry taste. And then the subtleness. When the chocolate comes in. Ten. Mm-hmm. It's a ten. Straight up ten. Hmm. Hard ten. Oh yeah. Just like you, my dear. Hmm. Now. Next up, <clears throat> we have. Oh, you're adorable. Kvorts. <laughs> Can we do something mm. not super chocolate? Mm. Uh, uh, sure, yeah. No, that's all we have left except for one thing. We gotta do it. Hang on. Wait. We gotta do it, Gary. Is that right? No, we have some other things that are not super chocolatey. We can do a chocolate, that's fine. Okay. Or we can do a wafer. You wanna do a wafer? Uh, sh- no, I wanna save the wafers. Because they're gonna be amaze balls. And I wanna, I wanna have them later. <clears throat> Boop. Okay. Oh, okay. These? Yes. These are chocolate coated roasted almonds with spices. You're not going to try to say them? Oh, I, I thought I did. Good. Gewoitz Mandeln. I don't know how to pronounce the E L N. Like Mandeln. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It looks like an egg. Yeah, it looks like a Robin's uh, Easter egg. It looks like, a, a, like a, those candy eggs that you can Ooh. get. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
chocolate liqueur is in here. Initial assessment is that, and maybe it's because we just had the, the raspberry cream stuff, but it doesn't seem to be super sweet. It's um, also very dense. Mm hmm. That's good though. You literally can't have more than two bites. It's very sweet. It's very rich. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. I don't know if it has like a cinnamon-ness to it. It doesn't have any cinnamon in it. Mm. I'm gonna say that's, I'm torn between nine and 10. I'm gonna say nine for me. Okay, let's do nine. Uh, just because it is like, it's very good, but it's kind of one of those things that, like as a snack, it's not a very efficient snack because you target eat a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. You would make yourself sick if you did. Yes. Next is called the Hedgehog Slice Bar. Oh, that's more chocolate though. Let's do let's do the next one first. Okay. We have then palm currywurst. Currywurst flavored potato fries. This makes me nervous. It's gonna be a curry uh, and worst is a format of sausage, like broth worsts. That's right. Get all that ASMR bag opening. Sorry, it was just serendipitous that I had to, some burps there. It wasn't like nausea or anything. It smells very Yet. good. It smells very weird. I'm excited. They're like little tubes. Little 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 finger strass. Like. You can see through it. Yeah. Drink your chocolate milk. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah. They smell horrible, but they taste really good. <laughs> They're so good. And it's only flavored on the outside. The inside has no flavor. What? Mm-hmm. I guess I didn't look through mine. Crunch it and then... Mmm. Okay. Curry Worst had us a little concerned because it might have been super spicy. I'm not. It's not. It's not super spicy. It has a very good flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's true that they smell... Horrific. Um, odd, for sure. Not as bad as the ham and cheese. No, that smells uh, like Tootsie's <laughs> treats. It smells like dog treats. Ham and cheese and knuffles. 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. Mm -hmm. What do you score that? That's an eight. For me. I'm giving it a nine. Yeah. Because it's so good. Okay. You want to do the hedgehog slice bar? Yeah. Let's do this it. This is milk chocolate with cookies. Oh. Cool. Yeah. It's even partial. It's in English on the package, too. Yeah, it's hedgehog. Hedgehog slice bar. At least that's what it's called here. Hedgehog slice. <clears throat> You were able to break this one? Yeah. <laughs> Good. This is not as thick. That is very rich. Yes, but it's very creamy. It's it is the cookies that they use are like there's Danish cookies, mm -hmm. the sort of butter butter cookies. I think they're called. Yeah, the kind that melt in your mouth. <coughs> mouth. If you're Dane cook, you say mouth. Now, 
That's not as good as the other two. No. I will say that. It's not as good. So, none. No, wait. Mm -mm. The the other one got an eight. That one, I don't think I've ever rated chocolate this low, but it was going to be a seven for me. I'm going to keep it an eight just because it's quite good. It's very good, good. but. Yeah. You know. Okay. Next thing. Got some more wafers. Uh, Cassis. Yogurt waffle and waffle and I don't know how to say any of this. Wafers is so fun, my dear. Wafers with black currant cork cream. Uh oh. I think I just messed it up. It's gonna be very flaky. Why don't you use scissors? Come on, woman. Let me see what I want. Grown ass women don't need no man. I appreciate you, though, dearie. Maybe I do need the scissors. Give me the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fun. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Um, I love cream-filled wafers. Now, whether or not this is good, we will see. It looks very, very good. Does it smell good? Mm-hmm. Smells like a strawberry milkshake. You want to go first? No, go first. You sure? Yep. I'll just take, take all the rest in my mouth. Wait for this. Ooh, yes. It just breaks apart. Wow. That's a little tart. Cheesiness to it. I think like, that's a yogurt. I could, oh, okay. It's weird. Um. The first taste was good, but then when it goes to the to the aftertaste. Right. So I don't think that these are as good as the lemon ones. I think these are better than the lemon ones because they're not. Gosh, I got this stuff all over me. So they're not for tart. me, I would say that this is a seven, um, just because, like, I the texture's great. I really like the <coughs> texture. Of it. The flavor isn't bad. Um, the aftertaste, in truth, could probably use a little work, uh, but it isn't like horrible. You know. This is a <coughs> five for me. I was I'm actually going to draw mine down to a six because of the aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a funky aftertaste. <coughs> I don't really, li- I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, next is Valencian pixels, which are herb flavored crackers. Herb flavored crackers. These actually, they look like a form of triscuits. They do. Okay, I should just straight up use scissors. Shows the ingredients, which is cool. Um, it does have some chemicals basil? in it, but it's mostly, huh? Uh, I don't see basil on here, no. It's got, it's onion, parsley, chive, garlic, sea salt, natural parsley. flavors, and rapeseed yeah. oil. Which is not a very nice name for a seed, frankly. Grapeseed oil? Grapeseed. Oh, these are light. Oh, goodness. They're like airy. Just throw it. So none on this side and flavor on this side. So do do we want to do flavor on the tongue? Yes. Is that how that works? Okay. Boop. (laughs) Okay. I just bit my mouth. Owie. So... It's very airy. The flavor profile is very nice. The aftertaste is cardboard. I don't think so. Deary, this it looks like cardboard and has a texture of cardboard. Oh, have you ever eaten cardboard before? <laughs> um. 
I'm not crazy about those. So, it has all those things that that we just mentioned, but it doesn't have, I would argue, it doesn't have enough of them. Um, Mm -mm. It's very bland. I think that if they had seasoned both sides... The first initial taste is like an explosion. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, this is really good. And then the minute you think that, it goes away. It's not a lasting flavor. It's like fruit stripes gum. Yes. Tastes good for like five seconds, ten seconds, and then it's gross. Not really gross, like fruit stripes gum, but like less good, if that makes sense. Mm. I can take it or leave it. So what does that mean, five for you? Yeah, five for me. I think I'm with you on that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hey, dearie, you're pushing the table. Get it off. <gasps> okay. We gonna we're gonna. Ooh, that's that's later though. Heidel beer waffle wafers with bilberry cream. What kind of cream? Bilberries. I don't know what bilberries are. Bilberries are very closely related to blueberries. So oh, that's close, why they look like blueberries. Okay. So close, people often mix them up. In fact, uh, when Germans talk about blueberries, they're really talking about bilberries, which grow abundantly across the country. Hmm. Cool. This is everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, the difference is that bilberries have a bright purple center as opposed to a blueberry's light green core. And their flavor is slightly deeper and fruitier. Okay, I'm excited about that. I love blueberries. I think I have to sweep under the I can smell those from right here. Oh yeah, it's very fragrant. I I did have a little bit of a taste, I'm sorry. It's okay. I am pretty excited for this. That's good. It tastes like it has a bubblegum flavor in it. It's that fruitier flavor of the bilberry. No funky aftertaste. It has a delightful aftertaste. Very good aftertaste. Very good initial taste. Um, It's a nine for me. Excellent texture. Ten. Nine for Mm. you. Okay. Now, we're getting closer to the end of our mm-hmm. list here. How many minutes are we in? 33. Not bad. Mm-mm. Mini torties. Cool melting chocolates with milk cream. <laughs> we got wafers, <laughs> wafers everywhere. everywhere. Much better, but these have the texture of the dollar store chocolate candy. Oh wow! That's the texture of it, but the taste is amazing. That's a ten. It's milk cream. Ten. So. Ten. Okay. All right. I agree. So milk cream. Mm. Um. If you're not familiar with that, in terms of candies. It's very prominent in cow tails, mm-hmm. um, like the candy cow tails, which I don't even think they make anymore. Do they I make don't know. Those still? I haven't seen them in forever. <clears throat> um, oh, that's so good. Can you, my dear, grab us a small glass of water? Why? The next thing. Is a hoge brouse, which is a fizzy drink mix powder. 
Oh. Sure. I didn't realize that that was a thing that we had. You know what? Let's just use this. Okay. We'll just use mine and we'll drink out of yours. Okay. <clears throat> we have a refill thing here. here. How much water do we need? <clears throat> um, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not a very large pouch. Let's see. Is that all in German? May I see? Uh, May I see the book? 0. 0.2 liters. <clears throat> what is 0. 0.2 liters in cups? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know what? Let's just do it. Okay. Now we have, there's lemon, what I, what I can only assume is lemon. Probably an orange. Oh, it's right here. Dur -dur -dur. Orange, uh, lemon, or himbeer. Himbeer. Let's try the himbeer one. Okay. I think this is like raspberry. Here we go. This is like Alka Seltzer. It's a fizzy drink. It's literally fizzing. <laughs> oh, smell that. Ooh. You wanna go first? It's like fizzy Kool-Aid. Oh gosh. In this case, we do drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> like so good, right? <clears throat> Put a little bit of water in it if you want to. Don't chug it. <clears throat> <laughs> Is it too fizzy? It's too potent. Okay. Here. Give me some bottle. Give me some bottle. Mmm. And then it turns clear with a tint of color. So. <coughs> mm. That's very good. It is. Uh, I was very, uh, I'm <laughs> very impressed with that, actually. Um, there was one flavor or one, one pack that we didn't get. Unless it's tucked in there somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> which is a green one. Probably like a lime. lime. Oh, I would have liked to have tried that one. Is that more? We got an extra of the... Ooh, is beer? Yeah. Okay, well. Yep, cool. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to say an eight. <laughs> Same. It's very good. It is. I don't think I would be able to drink a full glass of it. I'd have to sip on it. You know what I mean? Oh, it's definitely sipping on it. Okay. Now, next is the strawberry rhubarb chocolate. Oh, rhubarb. We have had great success with rhubarb here in the past. We have. Uh, have Starting with the UK box. I have a feeling that this one will. Ooh. That's chunky. I have a feeling that this one will be quite delightful. No, it doesn't smell very good. I don't know. I think so. I'm going to just take a bite of it. Do you, do you want to? Yeah. You want me to take a bite? And... Sure. Hmm. Okay. This is weird. Um. Ooh. Ooh. So, initial thoughts are that it is absurdly tart, um, which in this case, let me pour from this side so I don't get any unintentional drippy drips on the laptop. <clears throat> um, I don't 
like that rhubarb. It's not, it, it, it doesn't mesh well with the strawberry, um, it, it, which is not, again, it's not to say that it's bad, only that it just, it's okay. You, you didn't, you hated it. Wow. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm going to give it, cause I'm a little more lenient than you. I'm going to give it a five. Um, okay. Just because it is not too bad. Ooh. Now we have three more <coughs> candies. We have three okay. more candies in here. What's first? Um, These? Mr. Blub Blubber? Blubber Lucky Gluck Coins. Cola, lemon, raspberry, cherry, or orange flavored assorted sherbet candy. <clears throat> Yours is probably cola because it's brown. No, there's, here's, I have a pink one. I have a yellow one. There's more I'm pink. Gonna, I'm just going to take this one, whatever there's it is. More pink. Cool. <clears throat> it looks like a mushroom. Mine looks like a horseshoe. It smells really weird. Hmm. Okay. It's like Pop Rocks. Mixed with tongues. One for you, huh? Mm. Mm -mm. I wouldn't go that low. I'm going to give it a three. So. If it's gross. It is. Bizarre. Um, Your tongue fizzes. Yeah. Your tongue fizzes. It's gross. While it melts. <clears throat> And that's so weird. Super weird. Okay, here, here, I keep pushing. I'm sorry. I keep pushing. Stop it. I'm sorry. Stop it. Sorry. Okay, that was just. Mm. You're not gonna like. Think the of an alka either. seltzer on your tongue. Why? Is it more sour? Sour fruit toppings. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with sour stuff? <laughs> okay. Oh, these are like the size of now and later's. Remember now and later's? I don't remember them. They were kind of like Starburst, but they lasted way longer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, this is not going to end well, is it? Johannes, Johannes Berry, I think is mine. I don't know what that means, but. Ooh, That's what mine is too. It's just like straight, like white color. Here we go. Oh, okay. Very soft. Tastes like wax. Um, some flavor in there. These are very small candies. Um, the more you chew it, the more sour it gets. Mm -hmm. Which this I is think by no means as sour as that rhubarb bar or that fizzy nastiness that we just had. <laughs> um. It's not bad. I don't. What's a three? I'm gonna go so far as to give it a six. <clears throat> mm. Now, our last, mm. our last ones are nut ice confect squares. Are they the same thing? Which are hazelnut flavored cool melting chocolate. Are they all the same? No. Made from a blend of chocolate and raw coconut oil, dissolves as easily as ice on the tongue, giving off an intriguing cooling sensation as the heat from your mouth is absorbed by the coconut oil. <laughs> So far as I know, 
They are all the same. And they're what just color do you want? Color. Green or blue? I'll go green. I have a distinct feeling I already know what this one's going to be. But, ooh, it's got a cool, like, wavy pattern on it. It does. Very neat, very neat, pretty. It's very good, but it has a little bit of mint in there. You want to taste it? I don't taste any mint. I, I taste the hazelnut. Oh, maybe that's, I don't know. For sure, I taste the hazelnut. Maybe I'm confused because of sournessness. <laughs> it's possible. That was decent. Oh, sorry. I'm a rude, rude boy. Probably not going to be good after chocolate. Hmm. That's not bad after chocolate, actually. But. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. <clears throat> that's a seven. <clears throat> nope, that's a six. There was nothing really special about the taste. Really? Mm -mm. Eight. Okay. You know, the Germany box, I'm a little disappointed in it. Really? Yeah, I guess Why? it's because of the UK previous box and the Russia. Was it Russia? That was like almost all tens. Yeah. That we uh, that was that we was absolutely amazing. loved. This one just <laughs> interesting i i didn't mind this box really um, i mean it wasn't like as bad as what taiwan was um, the taiwan one was not great we had three one three uh almost four that were <coughs> 10 of 10 uh, which isn't bad Good box. <clears throat> it's definitely interesting. We didn't have any outright duds except perhaps the uh, the strawberry current, no, the strawberry marzipan, whatever that was. Uh, chocolate wasn't great, and the uh, those sherbet coins. Yeah. Anything of, of interest here? Not on the very first page, just what I was looking through. Just like architecture. By the way, we're done with the, the tasting. Yes, we are. Um, if that is all you're interested in seeing, then we hope you have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. Have a good time. Have a good time. Uh, we're going to jump into trivia aspect and then talk about clue for next month, do a little speculation, and then we'll finish it up. <clears throat> we will indeed. All right, so nine trivia questions. Do you have the answers? It's all there. Okay. <clears throat> and the times they are okay. changing. Sorry, I wasn't watching that. Okay, <clears throat> number one. Which of the following drinks originated in Germany? Sierra Mist, Gatorade, Minute Maid, or Fanta? I'm going to say Sierra Mist. Well, let's see. It's, it's not Gatorade because that was Florida. Florida. Um, Minute Maid, I'm not sure of. Sierra Mist, I'm pretty sure, is from, I'm going to say Fanta. Fanta? Okay. On Fanta. Fanta. During World War II, factories in Germany couldn't get the syrup needed to produce Coca-Cola. To keep, don't you dare look at this, to keep up with demand, 
They started using scraps of fruit shavings combined with beet sugar to make a new <clears throat> soda Fanta. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Uh, it remains specially popular in Germany, where it's often featured in a traditional orange cake called Fanta Kuchen. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is cool. <clears throat> Number two, the German government has legal control over baby names, house colors, heel heights, or pets' weights. I would assume either house colors or, or heel heights. I was thinking either house color. Yeah, house colors is what I'm going to say. It's got to be house colors. Okay. It makes no sense. Like, the other ones, why? I mean, the other ones make no sense. Baby names. Really? You won't hear names like Frankie or Taylor or Apple in Germany. <clears throat> According to German law, a person's sex must be obvious by their first name. If a baby's name doesn't comply, the government can and will refuse it. Since reapplying can be very expensive, parents usually opt for traditional names like Maria or Max Million. Neat. Interesting. It is interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Number three. Germans aren't breaking the law if they refuse to pay taxes, escape from jail, break into someone's home, or drink and drive. Drink and drive. Drink and drive. Drink and drive. It has to be. Escape from jail. Oh. Let us explain. German law recognizes that it's basic human nature to be free, so the act of escaping itself is not directly punishable. However, it's nearly impossible to escape illegally as prisoners can be punished for any other crimes committed during the attempt, like property damage, harm to guards, or stealing of prison clothes. <laughs> That's, That's very loophole. funny. Yes. <clears throat> Which game was invented in Germany? Dominoes? Battleship? Chinese checkers or Candyland? I'm going to say Candyland. Just for shiggles. Dominus. Dominus? Chinese checkers. Really? Believe it or not, Chinese checkers was actually invented in Germany in 1892 based off of a similar four-cornered game called Halma. This star-shaped version was originally named Sternhalma or Star Halma until it was brought to the U.S. in 1928 and marketed as Chinese checkers to keep up the trending interest, interest in Asian imports. That's confusing. That's literally what it says is that's confusing. That's very funny. Okay. Cool. Number five, which <laughs> of the following can you order at a German McDonald's? Oh, I bet I know which one this one is, but I'm probably <laughs> going to be wrong. Donuts, Pizza Max, Beer or Apple Oreo McFlurries. That sounds very good. It does sound very I'm gonna good. I'm going to say beer. I would say beer, too. All of the above. Donuts, Pizza Max, beer, and Oreo. Apple Oreo McFlurries. Pizza Mac. McDonald's restaurants in Germany are known for serving up some seriously unique local concoctions like burgers with pizza, burgers with pizzas for buns, cheese-filled donuts with cranberry sauce, and spiced apple Oreo McFlurries. And to wash it all down, the most authentic local drink of all, beer. That sounds amazing, actually. <clears throat> Pizza Max sounds <clears throat> fantastic. It does. If we ever visit Germany, we need to try that. Agreed. When Germans find a lost item, they donate it to the needy. Bring it to the city's lost and found, hang it from a tree, or take it for themselves. Hang it from a tree. Is there such a thing as a city having a lost and found centralized thing? Maybe. Unless they hang it from a tree too. Hang it from a tree! Hang it from a tree! Did you cheat? No, I did not. If you drop your favorite scarf while walking in Germany, don't panic. Chances are, if you return to that very spot, you'll find it hanging from a tree or a sign nearby. This practice of hanging lost items is so customary that most German walkways and train stops are dotted with small objects. Is it dotted? D-O-T-T-E-D? -T -T -E dotted. That's what I thought. With small yeah. objects just waiting to be reunited with their owners. Cool beans. That is cool. And so 
it's it's so different because over here, I mean, if you leave something somewhere, you might as well just it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> you're not getting it back, mm -mm. especially if it's something remotely valuable. Yeah. Uh, it's just not. It's not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Okay. Germany has an entire museum dedicated to butter, snoring, squirrels, or shopping carts. I'm going to say squirrels. I think it's butter. Butter? Yeah. Snoring. Snoring. We both were wrong. This museum will put you right to sleep in a good way. Run by sleep disorder specialist Dr. Joseph Wirth. This unique attraction features all sorts of gadgets designated to solve the age-old problem of snoring. Nose clips, teeth braces, fluffy vests. Visitors can explore it all and leave educated about a condition that affects two-thirds of the population. Hmm. Interesting. Two interesting. more questions. Ready? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Which of the following is considered a weapon in Germany? Plastic wrap? A cane? Dog poop? Gross. Or a pillow? Okay, that's super gross. It's... I'm going to say either a plas plastic wrap or dog poop. It's got to be something random. What are you going to say? A cane? Or a pillow? It would be funny if it was a pillow. I mean, you can smother somebody yeah. with a pillow I mean, or plastic wrap. You know, you know plus, what I mean? if you get a nice like feather pillow and like a big pillowcase, you can wallop some dude with it. Mm, that's true. What do you want to choose, pillow? I'm, I'm going to say pillow. What did I say? Plastic wrap? Plastic wrap or dog poop? Mm, let's go to plastic wrap. Okay. A pillow. Yeah? You might want to think twice about <sighs> having a pillow fight in Germany. There, pillows are considered a passive weapon, one that can be used to protect or defend oneself against another weapon. So by law, hitting someone with a pillow, even in a friendly fight, could potentially result in charges of assault. Wow. Assaulted with a pillow. That's right. That's hilarious. What are you in jail for? Well, I hit a dude with a pillow. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Let's escape, because that's not illegal. <laughs> we just got to strip down to the nude so we don't steal any clothes. That's right. Escape Distract naked. the, escape the guards. Naked. Don't hurt any guards. <laughs> uh, don't damage any property. Yep. That would be a challenge for sure. That's hilarious. Okay, last one. A popular breakfast choice in Germany is pickled cabbage soup, blood pancakes, raw pork toast, or rice pudding. I'm gonna say blood pancakes. Blood pancakes sounds super gross. That's or say. a vampire delicacy. If you're into that. That's what uh, that's what Edward likes to eat. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, the blood pancakes. Bella. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Oh, I don't know. Rice Just rice pudding. Raw pork toast. Forget jam in Germany. Locals spread raw ground pork called met onto their morning toast. This local delicacy is only considered safe when prepared by a strict set of rules. It must contain 35% fat, stay at a constant 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and be sold the day it's made. Locals enjoy their met toast plain or topped with fresh onion slices. I have, I think I've had, I think I had met while I was in Germany. Yeah. I would try it, but I probably wouldn't like it. Uh, yeah. Man, Germany has some rocking good food, though. I'll tell it's you that. Very much. interesting. All right, what's the clue? The clue for next month. Oh, wait, recipe. Oh, yeah. Shh. Schweineschnitzel. Schweineschnitzel. Recipe. Which is 
Here, let me get it up there. So you can pause it if you would like. Boop. Okay. It's pork, flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, paprika, canola oil, and salt and pepper to taste. Oh. I bet it is pretty good. I bet it is too. I just got a poppy seed out of my tooth. Okay. Clue to next month's box. <clears throat> next month we celebrate love of all kinds. Love for your spouses, crushes, and yums that we find. From 300 year old cookies once made in a churchyard to famous triangle chocolates prepare to fall hard. Triangle chocolates? And 300 year old cookies once made in a churchyard. <sighs> Like Toblerone? I don't know what that is. Oh. I have no idea what next month's could be. I'm trying to think where that's from. Toblerone. It's like a so to, Toblerone is is a chocolate that comes in like a like a triangular prism box. Yeah. Um, as far as its shape. It's very interesting. Kind of reminds me of like a engineering square <laughs> that's it's the triangle thing but I don't remember where it's from I guess we'll find out next month I know like it's it's popular in England but we had the UK we recently. had UK just a couple months ago and so it's, I doubt it's from that I couldn't tell what you. other areas of the UK could be <clears throat> yeah, separate from yeah I think it's all all consolidated peace right now. That's true. Because you got England, Wales, the UK. Uh, I mean, Ireland is technically a part of the hmm. UK, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't sure. know. We'll find out. I'm not really and sure. And we'll be back next month with more goodies. Uh, yes, we will. Okay. So, uh, we will... See you again. See you. Bye bye. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. And bye bye. Let us know if you have any other suggestions. Bye. Bye.